In this video we will show you how to use the Stitch Flow tools to improve the embroidery quality and the look of your designs. Stitch Flow is a special operating mode that provides tools to adjust the directions of stitches and divide objects into sections. When you start Stitch Flow you need to first select an object if nothing is already selected. For any object that you click on the top part of the design area you see the available stitch flow options. If you click on a step object you only see the directions option. If you click on a satin or piping object you have directions and divide tools. Let's see how this works. Once you select a step object you only have directions option. When you are on top of the object, the mouse cursor is like holding a red dot. You can click and drag to draw a line that will define the direction of the stitches. Once you release the mouse, the direction is automatically applied. You can continue adding lines until you are satisfied. Step can only have one direction of stitches. Each new line therefore replaces the previous. Using the dots on the edges of the line you can also edit the line and using the X that appears in the middle of the line you can delete it and the default one is applied. If you click on a satin or piping object you have directions and divide tools. First you need to select which tool you want to use. Let's use divide. Now when the mouse cursor is on top of the outline it is like holding a green dot. Click and drag from one side of the object to the other in order to define a divide line. Satin and piping objects can have multiple direction lines and divides. So you can continue adding divide lines or you can switch to directions to define the directions of the divided parts. As already mentioned, using the dots on the edges of the line you can edit the line and using the X that appears on the middle of the line you can delete it. Always have in mind that you can edit only the tool that is enabled. So if direction is enabled you can only edit and delete the directions. Switch to divide and now you may edit and delete the divide lines. The divide lines have green color in order to distinguish them from the direction lines which are red. Notice that while working with Stitch Flow tool you can switch between the individual Stitch Flow tools by pressing the D key. For example if you have enabled the directions tool and you press the D key you switch to divide. And if you press D once more you switch back to directions. It is like a toggle key to switch between the available Stitch Flow tools. Using the Stitch Flow tools you can create unique designs that can have many sub objects like branches and specific direction of stitches for each sub object.